move to the town. Yikes! Um, can we push play, please? Agent, we're tracking your position. They're right behind you. You need to defuse the bomb now. You don't have enough time. I'm gonna walk you through this if you listen really closely. I need you to cut the blue wire. Then, cut the red wire. Whatever you do, do not. Repeat, do not touch the Then you'll be fine and it won't blow up. What? You don't have enough time. Get out of there. Agent, never mind the bomb. Go, go. Agent, run, agent. Get out of there. The mind is like a very powerful computer capable of capturing a lot of data at once. But are we using it to our full potential? Let's go back to that movie scene. There was the man defusing the bomb, the underpass, you even noticed the beeping, the music, the mood, you might have even noticed the gorilla. You were able to subconsciously take in all this at once because of your visual cortex, the part of your brain that processes visual information. Movies stimulate many parts of your brain. Your brain loves processing loads of information at once. That's why we love watching movies. But can we use this same part of the brain for other things? What if you could read like you watch a movie? Hmm. Normally when reading, you're using the Broca's area of the brain. This part of the brain processes details linearly, which means you read word by word. That's boring. When you read word by word, you're not taking advantage of all the power of your brain and your mind isn't as engaged as it could be. By combining the power of the Broca's area with the visual cortex, you have the capability to comprehend so much more. This combination gives your brain 1,500% more processing power and brain activity. That's like the difference of power between a fan and a jet engine. Or a unicycle and a sports car. Or a baby and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Let me show you. Follow these images on the screen with your eyes. See how many objects your brain can recognize at the same time. This exercise helps train your brain to learn conceptually. When we first learn to read, it's by a linear format, one word at a time. But processing images and words as a whole concept allows you to recognize, for example, an image of a car without having to see or hear the word car. This is conceptual learning. And it is critical to improving your reading speed. In order to read how we watch movies, we also need to strengthen our peripheral vision. Keep your eyes looking at the red line down the center of the screen. Try reading the words that come up on both sides of the line with your peripheral vision. Use the dot to stay focused on the line. These two exercises, and others, will teach your brain to stop reading linearly and to shift to processing words visually. The more you stretch your mind like this, you'll be able to comprehend everything much faster and even visualize it. Like a movie. Your brain is amazing, isn't it? Yeah! Check out these exercises and more at IQAdvantage.com. Look forward to more videos by subscribing. Subscribe!